Hello and welcome to another DRB tutorial video. Today we're going to be checking out some of the awesome features coming in the spring update that we haven't talked about in previous videos. These features will be available on the spring update on May 20th. So sit back, relax, because it's time to create. Hello everybody, I am Austin BMX with DRB Studios. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel and if this video helps you out in any way or if you're excited as we are for the spring update, hit that like button. Today we're going to look at a handful of new features coming to the DRB. So let's jump right into it. First, let's go over some of the new features added to the player menu. Now, if you're not sure what I'm actually talking about here, the player menu we usually reference is down on the D-pad or hold alt on the keyboard. That brings up this awesome menu over here that allows you to do all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's literally dozens and dozens of things you can do inside this menu. Inside this menu, we've added a couple of new features as well as improved some other ones as well. The first two we're going to look at is inside the actual player menu function. So from this point, I'm going to hit uh, right. It's going to open up the player world options. And if you look at the very top, you'll see new two new commands, which are the left and right trigger or page up and page down. So we have cycle voice, which is a fantastic new feature that actually just lets you cycle your voice. You can see down there in the bottom left that we're actually cycling our voice in county. Now you ask, what's the point in that? I have push to talk. Well, if you have push to talk, you don't got to worry about that too much. But a lot of people don't use push to talk, especially if you're on controller. And then this also allows you to do this while you're on a wagon, which is absolutely fantastic because that feature has not been available at all in the county yet. So now when you're on a wagon, you can use this feature and actually cycle your voice if you need to in a hurry to speak with someone. We also have the function right below this called command line. Command line is a function that allows you to literally type in any command that you know with your controller. So this function is basically for controllers, more for keyboard and mouse, but you guys can use it as well if you'd like. So if we hit command line, it'll pull up this menu here and it says, please type your command. Now you don't need to push the slash at all, but you can literally type any command that you know. You will need to know them, but if you type it and hit the button, you'll go ahead and do that command just like that. So we just did slash sit. So we could go back into it as well and we could just do slash C just like that and that'll be slash C. Now if you're on control, you literally can do any command in the game. Next up on the player menu ads is the new clothing menu. Well, it's not quite new, but we have enhanced it a little bit. You can get to this by hitting down or also your L key on your keyboard will bring up the new clothing menu. Uh, it allows for quite a lot of new stuff. You can actually see all the stuff you want to change off. We can take our hat on and off just like that. Uh, we also can roll up our sleeves. Of course, if we have our coat off, you could toggle sleeves like that and roll your sleeves up. We're actually finding more stuff and adding things as well. We actually have the bandana function here as well, which surprisingly works fantastic, but I don't have a bandana on. We've also added the function to remove all clothes. This should take all your clothes off just like that so you can go swimming or whatever you'd like just like that don't have to cycle through them at all and if of course if we want to we can go down and just put them all back on just like that of course there's going to be some people that probably like the old l menu better but for the sake of continuity and fluidness it just didn't work very well with the new clothing system that we had and this one over here works much better next up we have the new social circle the social circle social circle you can see in the player menu is left if you type left right here you can go ahead and pull up the social circle menu. This is revolutionary and fantastic to have within the server. This is a friend request system that allows you to either be seen by everybody on the server or just be seen by your friends or be completely invisible and offline. Now, this is only in regards to viewing who is online at any given time. It's not like you're in your own private server and no one could see you at all. Everybody is always in the public space of New Dakota. If we click on view online list from here now, it will pull up our list and say that Tiny is online. Yep, TMAD's in here somewhere doing some stuff, and he is currently white, which means that he is not our friend, but he is set to be visible by everybody. If we move back over to the social circle, you can see that we have view friends list. If we click on this, we can view all of our friends. Currently, we have Yip Yee as a friend. That is Shainer. 
If we go ahead and click current status, it'll just pop up a little message that says our current status. You're currently offline and seen by no one and not accepting friend requests. There's also a function right here to send friend requests. You always, you have to be next to the person to do this. And then there's the three options to toggle what our current settings are in game. These toggles right here are set for your current play session. If you want to make permanent changes to these, you can go do it at the government services window. These will always show what you want to set your function to. So right now, you remember it said that we were offline. So if we click on this, it'll actually turn us to online. Now it's now we can toggle it back to offline. But if you see now at the top, it says you are now online. If we check our current status, it'll say that you are currently online and seen by friends only and not accepting requests. That means that we are currently showing online, but only our friends can see us and we are not accepting requests, meaning that anybody that's next to us that tries to send us a request, it will tell them that we're not accepting requests and it won't bug us. We can, of course, change these in here. If we go down to accepting, we can turn that to on. Now it's toggled that we can turn it off. But if we look at the top, it says you now are accepting friend requests. If we check our status, it says you are currently online and seen by friends only and you are accepting requests. That means that new players or new people that are not our friends can send us requests and we can accept them if we'd like. The only thing to remember that those friend requests are on screen UIs. So it's sometimes but good to have those off unless someone asks you if they could add you to their social circle. You can also change your mode from everyone to friends only. Right now we are on friends only. So if we toggle this to everyone, now we are online, seen by everyone, and accepting requests. This is the default status that everyone will start off as. So if you would like to change these when you first log in, go ahead and go to the menu. You can go to your social circle and you can toggle these any way you'd like. And if you want to permanently set those so they set up the way you like them when you log in, you need to go down to a government services window. We do hope that this new system allows everyone in the community and the county to stay connected if they like or not if they don't. This way you can play a mysterious character that no one can see and the only want them to interact with you on a full RP basis or you can be a little more connected with your friends and let them know when you're online so you can kind of meet up and create some fun interactions together. So we do hope everybody enjoys the new social circle. We've also updated the new bulletin board system in county as well. Since the removal of the channel and Discord, we've tried to create a new system in game that actually works a lot better than the old one did. So we've uh, updated the features. If you go up to any bulletin board, which are all around the county, there is a blip on your map to show where they are, even some new locations as well. You have now check board and delete poster. So if we do check board, you can see it opens up the standard UI, which also looks like it should get a improved look and features in the future as well but for now it's pretty basically the same this system allows you to insert a title as well as a image link and pin your poster to the board we'll go ahead and put something in here real quick hit pin to board and there we are so there is a fee as well for this now it costs six dollars and fifty cents to pin your link to each individual board you can have up to two posters on any board in any town at any given time Meaning we could have two posters in Annisburg, two posters in Blackwater, two posters in Valentine, but we couldn't put a third one on any of those because it wouldn't allow us. We'd have to delete one first. If we click on our thing now, we can see, there we go, Norman Fiddlepot. You can win a date with Norman Fiddlepot there. If you guys are unaware, you can click on the picture. You can see the picture and you can hit the backspace button to actually close it back down and then hit the escape button to get out of this menu. Now, if we didn't like how that poster looked or if the link didn't quite work, we can go ahead and delete it and repost it. To do that, we hit the delete poster button. It'll pull up this menu here, which will show all the posters we currently have on this board and their date. So this shows the title of date with Norman, and it was posted on 5-14-2023 at 9-28. Now, that is my local time. Uh, because that's when the test server is. So this would be the local time for the server. So on the live, that would be Eastern. So now you can click on that and just delete it like that. It'll ask you if you want to do it, to permanently do it. Just type yes to do that. And there we go. It says you have been deleted and now it tells us we don't have any more available. So if we go to check board, you'll see that there are no more posters on this board because we've deleted the only one. We hope that the updates to this system allows people to be in game and create more interaction with the other community members that are in server. This new system will as well get improvements 
and new features in the future. We've also updated some of the UI prompts for mining, logging, as well as gold panning. Made them much cleaner. Now when you're in here mining, you can actually have a nice smoother interaction when you're actually picking. Got a nice little UI there and you just wait for the prompt to show you when to gather your product and the timer even lets you know exactly when it's coming. Much more user friendly and we hope this allows for people to have an easier time doing these tasks. For logging, we've cleaned up the UI a little bit and made us all the prompts show and you don't have to worry about looking in your top, top left eye there. You just walk around until you get close to a tree and the prompt will come available for you just like that and you can hit the button and then you get a nice UI that lets you know exactly when you should push the button again and make it super easy. And of course for gold panning, the process is just as simple. Now that we have some gold on us, let's go ahead and go over to the bank and use the new feature at the banking system. You go ahead and open your bank, you'll see that now you can track and carry gold inside your bank balance. Currently, the only thing you can do with this current balance is buy clothes. More functions will come in the future, including possibly removing the bank balances as well as transferring the gold. Right now, all you have to do is to make a gold deposit. Currently, we have 0.12 bars. If we go ahead and take a look at our satchel, you could see that we have seven nuggets on us. That should add seven to that list. If we go back into the bank real quick, you could see if we go down to make a gold deposit, this will just go ahead and grab everything that is in our satchel, all gold nuggets, all gold bars, and add that to the bank balance. If you do not want this to happen, don't have it in your satchel and then click this button. If we go ahead and make it a gold deposit, it's gonna go ahead and grab that seven. It says we have deposited 0.07 gold to our account. New balance is 0.19. If we go back to our bank, you can see that we now have 0.19 bars securely stored in our bank and it'll allow us to buy things from markets, currently only clothing. Next up, we're gonna showcase the New Dakota Government Services Clerk menu. This has been showcased in a couple of other videos. We'll go through everything that's in it now. If you go to speak to clerk, you can visit these at any job board. Currently, that is Blackwater or Sandini. Go ahead and speak to clerk. You're going to get these current options. We have register default settings. What the heck is that? We have name changes, instance housing, markets, and purchase job items. Let's go through all of these one by one. Let's go ahead and just check out purchase job items first. If we click on purchase job items, it's going to give us a couple of items that we can purchase based on our job. Now, if you've got a job and then you lost your current item that helps you with that job, you could come to the government services office and get a replacement. Now, not everybody can come here and buy this herbalist kit. You will need to be an herbalist. Not everybody can come buy this trapping book. You will need to be a trapper. So go ahead and make sure if you've lost your item, either it got stolen or you just lost it all your inventory, you can come here and pick up a replacement. We've talked about markets a little bit in a previous video. This is where you can come and buy a new market permit. You also can pay your market fine. If your market gets government shut down, you can pay the thousand dollar fine to get it reinstated. We have the instance housing option. This one gives us a few different options. We can see all the available houses that are on the map. This lets everyone show you all the instance houses. We also can surrender a property. This will let you sell a property back to the government for 40% of its original cost, but it will make you lose anything you've left inside of it. So you, if you have items inside of it, storage stuff inside of it, that will all be gone if you use this option. It will allow you to get out of your tax obligation for that property. We also have transfer property. This will allow you to transfer a property to another citizen in New Dakota, including all of its assets. So anything that's in the storage box, any assets that you've purchased that are inside of the property will all go to that new citizen. Now, of course, that citizen cannot already own that particular property or they will get a error during that transfer. We have the new name changes feature. This allows you to change a few different names in county. Inside here, we have citizen name changes, animal name changes, and vehicle name changes. Animal and vehicle are pretty self-explanatory. Vehicle name changes allow you to change the name of any vehicle that you've purchased at the Wagon Emporium or the Boat Emporium. The animal name changes allow you to change any animal you currently own via treasure pigs, farm animals, dogs, cats, birds, all of that. And then we have citizen name changes. There are a few options inside of here. We have $50 to change a new player's citizen name, 
for this, you have to be under level 10, and this will allow you to change your full name first and last. This is for new citizens that have joined the county that just have an issue or misspelling when they originally created their character. We have the option to file for a marriage license. This will allow the two players that are getting married to come here. The person offering up their last name will file for a marriage license and it will allow another player to change their name to that last name. For a marriage license name change, both players need to be at the government services office. If you are looking to get a divorce, you will need to come here and file for divorce. This will allow you to change your name back to your surname that it was before you got married. This will only work if you use the marriage license option to change your name in the first place. If your name was changed via a previous name change ticket, you will have to turn in a ticket at that point to file for divorce as well. As of the launch of this system, no name changes in the county will take place unless you use the in-game services. If your name change does not fall underneath one of these options, we highly suggest you to create a new character. The last option available in the government services office is to register default settings. Now, of course, we'll go through some of these and some of these are will not show for everybody. So do not worry. We'll go through all of them. We have walk style. This will allow you to actually change your default walk style, which will actually load in when you load your character and you won't have to set it. You can change to any of those. We have the talk accessibility, the cash always on and the side saddle. These will allow you to set those to either on or off, depending on if you would want them to be on when you load in your character. We have the online options. This is what we spoke about earlier. This will let you check your current status and then it will allow you to set these three settings to be active when you load in with your character. So if we check our current status, we are currently offline, seen by no one and not accepting requests. That means that when we load in, we will be offline seen by no one and not accepting requests. So we can change these to be the other way around. We can set this to friends only or everyone. We can also set these to offline or online, and we can set this to on or off. Remember that your current setting is the opposite of what these say. This says set your status to online. So currently your setup is set to offline. So when you log in, you will be set to offline mode. So we do hope the new features in that menu will allow everyone in county to set up your character a little more personalized. So when you log in, you don't have to take that first three or four or five or even 10 minutes to get everything set just right. Now in county, we've added a pretty awesome tool for hunters and trappers alike. Now you have the ability to use the hunting wagon and load up some animals. It's pretty easy to use. Go ahead and just get yourself a kill. Make sure it's a clean kill though, because that's kind of mean right there. Hey, excuse me, buddy. Sorry about that. Go ahead and pick up your deer or any other kind of carcass. Throw it on your shoulder. Walk on over to the back of the wagon and you'll see the prompt change to hunting wagon. Go ahead and drop it right in there. And there you go. You have a deer inside the hunting wagon. You can go ahead and take it out as well once you're behind the wagon, just like that, or throw it back in. Now, this function does work for anybody on the server, meaning that you and your friends can use the same wagon and load it up. Other people can come steal your carcasses out of the wagon, so you better make sure you be careful and don't leave it laying around. Now, one thing to note as this carcass in this wagon is only gonna be in this particular wagon. If you log out and log back in and pull your wagon out, carcass won't be there. If you crash and log back in and pull your wagon out, carcass won't be there. If server restarts and you have to pull your wagon back out, you guessed it, carcass will not be there. This carcass is only in this specific wagon. In the future, possible changes may come across for that to make it a little different, but for now, keep that in mind. You can hold up to five carcasses in your wagon. You can bring them on over to the butcher, pull them out and sell or butcher your animals in town. We've also created a fantastic new feature with the water wagon. As you can see here, we have the new barrel wagon with the water pump attachment that you can get at the wagon emporium. Once you have this attached, bring your wagon down to the water. If your wagon and yourself are in water, you can go ahead and attach hose, and then you will start filling up your barrel. As long as you stay in water and within close proximity of your wagon, you will continuously fill up water until you reach the max of 500 bottles. 
You can detach it at any time. Once you detach, you will go through one more cycle and then the cycle will be completed. Now you can take this wagon with you and not have all the water in your pockets and then be able to water your crops. Once you got your wagon with you over at your crops, all you have to do is just plant like normal. The new planting system allows you to pick which kind of seeds you want to use. We're just going to pick carrots. Going to go ahead and plant these carrots here. Now we're on to the watering phase. If we use water right now, it will come out of our pocket, whatever we have in our pocket. Or we can walk up to the wagon. We can attach our hose. Now we can walk up over here and we can hit water. And we're actually watering that from our stored water. You can continue to carry your hose and just water your next plant if you'd like. And each time the water comes from our saved stored water and not out of our pockets. No more having to carry hundreds of bottles and hundreds of pounds of water in your pockets. Just use the new water wagon. We do hope that this short tutorial helped you to see some of the new features coming to the DRB in the spring update. Again, if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around these parts, consider subscribing. I'm Austin BMX with DRB Studios, bringing ideas to life. Hope to see you again soon, but until then, keep on creating.